I'm Amanda, this is Abby. We're members of Team Elton. We're gonna give you a little tutorial on how to use your rebound walker. This guy's typically prescribed for patients if they have issues weight bearing post-injury. So usually an ankle sprain, fracture, and sometimes post-operatively with any type of ankle surgeries. All right, so this is our Aircast rebound walker. Um, typically after you get everything strapped in, you'll notice that this guy has some stickers on the side. So this device is designed with two air chambers. They're typically labeled with stickers one and two, and they are also associated with this dial here. One, two, and then a safety lock. Whichever number is in the groove is the chamber that you're working on. This is gonna be designed to fill any spaces that are left over after you get secured in your boot. You'll inflate with the big bulb, deflate with the little bulb. So first you'll start off by taking off the top cage. It's always a good idea to make sure that all the air is deflated before you go to put your foot back into a boot. So I usually like to go through chambers one and two and press my little deflate button just in case. You'll slide your heel into the back with your foot nice and flat on the bottom of the boot. Secure over the top with your foam and then replace your cage. Remember to go nice and light over the toes. You don't want to cut off circulation. Should just be snug enough so you don't feel like your foot's gonna fly out of the boot. And then you'll secure across the shin, like so. Once everything is secure, you can always reassess. Abby has a little bit of space left over on the outside of her boot. You'll notice again, it's associated with sticker two. So I'm gonna make sure that my dial comes in and two is sitting in the groove. I'm gonna add a few pumps of air to fill that space. When I'm happy, I'll lock everything in place with my safety lock. Again, I'm Amanda, this is Abby. If you have any questions, we're Team Mountain.